Hi and welcome to another Watch Geek video. Today we're taking a look at the Coast Watches Pacific Explorer, a debut model from an up and coming brand from Denmark. A sporty looking watch with a simple yet original look. The watch can be seen as a hybrid between a Rolex Explorer styled watch with the elements of Panerai thanks to the use of a sandwich dial, while the large polished bevels have a bit of Omega Professional vibe to them. Despite having all of these elements, every single one of them is so different to the original that the watch has its own character and design language. I personally like it a lot. One of the reasons I like it so much is the size. With 39mm in diameter and under 47 lug to lug, it wears perfectly on my 6.7 inch wrist while the massive lugs give it more presence, making it wear like a 41. A similar effect Rolex has had with their Maxi Case Submariner that although 40mm actually had the wrist presence of a 42mm watch. The lugs are not only massive but also a work of art with a highly polished and curved bevel almost to the width of the lugs themselves with a small inner brushed part that goes well with the brushed sides and this fixed brushed bezel. The bezel itself can also be made out of copper and can also be a 12 hour or a traditional 60 minute unidirectional one. Although those increase the watch's functionality, the clean design of this more than makes up for it. It really gives the watch a sporty and robust feel. The bracelet is also pretty massive, even though it is only 20mm wide, with a taper that goes down to 16 at the buckle, making for a very comfortable wear. It does come with solid links and links and a machined clasp with a safety latch. It doesn't feature a trigger release, but it is definitely one of the better friction systems out there. One thing that kind of bothers me is the crown. It doesn't dig into my wrist too much, but I keep thinking it will, as it is very large and without any lug guards appears even larger. The good thing about it is that it is really easy to grip and operate, but I still wish it was a tad bit smaller. The crystal is a flat sapphire and underneath is one of the nicest sandwich dials I have seen so far. Not only are the cutouts very crisp, but the actual dial is a piece of art. Most of the time it appears black, but as you move your wrist around and as you catch the light at different angles, you discover it is a beautiful shade of blue that not only has a fume effect, but also features this angled brushing. Coast Watches refers to this as Ocean Trench, and I have to admit it is the best part of the watch. The hands are impossibly long with the minute and seconds hand almost touching the chapter ring, which is something I like. They feature a brushed finish and look pretty original. Even though I wish the hour and minute hand were less similar to each other, they're not as bad as on some watches I reviewed thanks mostly to the centerpiece on the minute hand, which helps in identifying it more easily, especially in the dark when the excellent loom comes to its own. The watch is powered by a Salida SW200, a Swiss-made automatic that beats away at 28,800 BPH and comes with both hacking and hand winding, while keeping the watch relatively thin. With a more premium movement than the usual Seiko NH35 we're used to seeing, comes a more premium price, so this thing goes from $600 all the way to $850, depending on whether you pre-order or pay full retail. I would say this is a bit high, but still a decent price for what you get, especially given the finer details and the original design. I really like this, as it manages to give us a hint of design cues from iconic watches, but different enough as to have its own character and I always support brands who choose that brave route of originality instead of going the easy way by just making another Rolex Submariner clone. So I really wish all the best to Coast watches and hope to see more models from them in the future. Well thank you for watching, I hope you enjoyed and found it useful. If you did, please like and subscribe and until the next video, bye.